What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure set on the WWE Elite WrestleMania 39 Mean Gene build a figure wave. Tons of waves coming at us. I think even the Royal Rumble set for this year or, or the beginning of next year is actually going to be coming to us in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for that, but I know I was dead last getting this, so I know not as many people are going to watch this video, but I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Probably going to be a double upload day. We'll see about that. Nonetheless, I'm excited for this wave. We saw it on display at San Diego Comic-Con. Here it is in the flesh, or the plastic, if you will. You have The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Macho King, and Dusty Rhodes. All flashback figures. No current talent. Pretty cool to see here. I remember watching WrestleMania 18 live in my living room. And now we have figures to represent The Rock and Hogan in that matchup. Very legendary in itself. We got some updated Macho and Dusty. Should be an enjoyable review, man. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. Let's take a first look at the front viewing window here. You do have The Rock in the gold in black. I do believe this is a new head sculpt we're getting. Looks like it comes with the legs of Mean Gene. Looking pretty good. I like this packaging. It's got black and gold. It fits the WrestleMania theme. You get a great shot of The Rock there. Rest of the figures there. Even the breakdown of the build a figure. Pretty cool stuff. Then taking a look at Hogan. Here he is looking good. Looks like they did not give him the updated tan, which sucks. But there is Hogan. You got another image of Hogan there. I'm sure this will probably be the hottest figure in the set, but there's a shot of him there. Looking pretty good. You have a shot of Macho King in his rainbow gear. Looking very cool. Mean Gene head sculpt that's new. Pretty nice stuff and then we have Dusty Rhodes which has a brand new head sculpt he's got all his polka dots going on pretty much the the gear that I think a lot of people associate with Dusty Rhodes so that looks pretty good there there's a shot of Dusty you got the black and gold going on image of Dusty image of Dusty again and that pretty much wraps up our packaging man if you guys would like to grab these figures you can do so over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com where you can use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% of course but let's crack all four of these guys out of the packaging break down the set build the mean gene figure see what we got going on get into some comparisons and we'll find out what the hell this wave's all about. Alright guys, so here's the WrestleMania 39 Elite Wave out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing for the most part so far. We are going to rank this set at the end, so stay tuned to the end. We will rank the full set from best to worst or worst to best. I don't ever go best to worst. That would make no sense because who cares at the end of the day? If you're not first, you're last. Nonetheless, we will rank the set. We're going to build the... We'll build the Mean Gene build a figure. We'll even include him in the ranking. And I'm actually excited for this wave, so let's go ahead and break it down, man. Let's just start left to right. Let's read it like a book. Let's start with the rock. Go the wall all the way through. We'll break down the accessories, some comparisons, and of course, run through the entire wave and build the Mean Gene Build-A-Figure. All right, so for Rock's accessories, pretty boring stuff. You don't get any cloth goods. You don't get any glasses. You don't get any mics. You don't get nothing. You just get interchangeable hands right here, and it's the big three that we see from Mattel all the time. Up first is your standard mic holding. Nothing exciting about these. I don't even want to speak on them because you guys know what they are. You got the classic fist. I feel like we, we get these for the most part with Mattel. Jazzwares usually doesn't really give us fists most of the time, but we we do get them with the elites. And then for the rock, you gotta have the just bring it hands. I really wish they'd include the ultimate edition ones where the hand or the fingers are actually up where it's like, you know, just bring it. But yeah, you got the just bring it slash slap slash, you know, there's a lot of different hands you can use it for. But yeah, handshaking, ricochet, Kawhi Leonard, you you know, you know the deal. Alright guys, so getting into the rock's head sculpt. Don't want to be dramatic. Probably the best rock head sculpt from this era that we've seen. I think the haircut is perfect. I think the facial expression is is perfect. This is a damn good figure, man. When you put this body mold in the in the category of good body molds, I mean, it's up there, man. I, I thought that when we got the Top Talents figure, the double-jointed Rock figure was e excellent. It was excellent. With the Rock jersey that we saw on the Top Talents line, I don't even find that figure anymore, man. So, hopefully it found some good homes, because that was, that was a damn good figure. But just look how good this looks. I think they captured it perfectly. The hair sculpt is nice. The facial expression. Love this torso for the Rock. This is a great formula that they use. Double-jointed arm. You got the big arms in there. He's got the standard rock shorts or trunks. You got your gold logos on the front. On the back, of course, will be the Brahma Bull in gold. That's pretty much a standard gear. He just switched up the colors. But you have your black knee pads and then your just standard black rock boots. But this figure's phenomenal, man. The rock is, is up there in my favorites of all time to ever do it. And this figure just encapsulates him perfectly. I do want to get into some figure comparisons real quick. I mean, the articulation for it, if you guys didn't know, I mean, it's pretty much the same. The shoulders are a bit tight. 
tight be careful when you're doing that you guys know like anytime you get a figure man and you don't want to stretch out and hurt the bicep i always grip it like right here to make sure that you don't because if you just push down the bicep you're going to loosen up the bicep push it down at the shoulder but the the joints feel tight i mean like he he moves around great you're not going to have any issues there just a fantastic piece right here man i, I really dig this figure going to be interesting on the ranking before your rock figure comparisons rock and sock connection two pack with a head swap i do believe with this figure no that's not right i put this is the rock and sock connection head sculpt i think on the top talents figure we were just talking about it's just a perfect formula it really is i think these two like kind of capture the the likeness of rock around the eras but then you also have the gold over here it's very similar to that one and i'm pretty sure the elite 69 collector's edition you know with the lay the smackdown shirt was in this same gear or very close to it this one's just updated with a new head sculpt and double jointed arms but it's kind of plain jane but at the same time man gets the job done i don't think you're gonna hate this rock i think it's for that ruthless aggression era rock it hits it on the money or especially wrestlemania 18 just very quality figure you can even hit it right there at the end of the attitude era 2000 2001 man this head sculpt right here is gonna be perfect what i want to see from mattel now is use this head sculpt give me the white just bring it shirt with the jogging pants and white sneakers that's what i want to see for the rock that's what i want to see for our next rock figure give it to us now for hulk hogan's accessories you guys will notice that you get the exact opposite of the rock and you get a ton of accessories you get a, a lot of great stuff going on right here including interchangeable hands for his interchangeable hands you do get the mic holding hands i'm just going to knock these out real quick and you get the two of the trifecta the holy trinity of mattel elite hands the ricochet Kawhi leonard hand shaking pump up the crowd can you hear me hands now outside of his interchangeable hands you do get a plethora of accessories here which is basically the elite 91 hogan's accessories this basically is just a repaint of that said figure where you get the boa the rip away shirt the belt the bandana and the sunglasses all the same just colored differently and painted differently just like the figure itself which we'll see so you do get your classic nwo shirt with the rip aways on the sleeves and you get the tears on the back good details here in the sculpt but it is rubber you know at least it is you know a tear away but i'd much rather have a cloth one that's not ripped in half nonetheless it is you know it's torn away but it looks good it lines up well and it is an nwo shirt you also get your classic boa you get the white one and the black one now i'm not sure if this is exactly accurate or if he had like a white one with black accents or black one with white accents or if they were intertwined or if it just straight up was you know a black boa and a white boa stacked on top of each other but you guys know how this mold is it's kind of intertwined and they are like glued together so that's how that is but a nice sculpt here it's just you know i i don't i don't need this it's cool for display i just you know it's just a regular bow in the black and white color just like we saw with the last elite 91 but in different color what would hulk hogan be without his weight belt pretty sure this isn't accurate again i know a lot of people hate these belts that he comes with but he does have the block hollywood logo there does not have the belt buckle on there but this does fasten around his waist and i know my hulk hogan belt connoisseurs will let me know all the different stuff down in the comment section below i know that people are just tired of this mold because we've seen it so many times but nonetheless we also get a bandana which does not fit the figure well or it, it fits the figure fine you know it goes on there fine but it is a little bit loose there you know it kind of falls right off it's not like gripping the head but to pair with this you do get the white sunglasses and the sunglasses are the same mold as the ultimate edition and they don't really stay on they don't hug anything so the only way you can really put this on is you have to put this on and then you have to like finagle it underneath the bandana for it to fit right and even then you're gonna run into some troubles and it will fall off on you and you can lose them so they really need to get first of all like i'll get into this in the next segment but give us a new head sculpt you know what i mean give us a new head sculpt we've seen this one for years give us a new older hulk hogan head sculpt for the love of christ so for the hulk hogan figure man same head sculpt we've seen i think legitimately we've seen this head sculpt since elite 34 i'm not, i i'm pretty sure it's the first time we saw it i could be wrong there may have been a basic wave in there somewhere but same head sculpt and it's not like it's a horrible head sculpt it's just dated as hell man we really need true effects we need like an updated capture of him updated sculpt i don't know what the deal is there but it's uh it's old man it's very old you got the blonde you got the dark in there i guess it gets the job done but it's just entirely garbage just like this torso they used for this era man he did not look like this in this era we've been over this i know they're just trying to get repaints in there and stuff but it's time we've had enough figures with this body mold with this torso it's time to change it they gave it to him way back in his hall of fame elite pretty sure people didn't like it then but we got it and continued to get it you do have your bigger shoulders bigger arms white wrist tape i stripped him down of his accessories so you guys can get the bare bones look of the figure without anything on but you have your black crotch piece you have your regular hollywood
wood tights going on this is the ultimate edition crotch and legs i'm pretty sure with the black knee pads and then going down you have your white version of the boots which is something i've wanted to see on the ultimate edition we got the black version and you guys know that i even did an ultimate edition fix up where i put solid white boots on there so now what i'm gonna do which i'll show in just the next segment of the video i'm going to take these boots off this figure and i'm gonna put them on my ultimate edition fix up so that i can have a more accurate body for this this is the exact look i was going for and this is like let's compare them right now so here's my ultimate edition fix up wrestlemania 18 hogan up next to the official wrestlemania 39 wrestlemania 18 hogan they are the same figure except it has a more accurate body and it has a different weight belt all i gotta do is put the white weight belt on there if it's accurate put these boots over here and i'm done very very easy and simple now for your other hogan figure comparisons you do have the regular ultimate edition right here the wrestlemania 39 figure the brand new one you have the ultimate edition fix up figure of this figure and then you have the figure that this figure is basically a, just a repaint of they took it head to toe accessories everything and just repainted it and gave us this so i'm definitely going to be on action figure surgery popping these boots over here and that will be easy that will be very easy to do and it'll look a whole lot better too so we'll, we will definitely be doing that at some point on episode 80 but it is cool to see all these hogans up next to each other i mean since this man has been in the clear they have continued to pump him out on numerous occasions and that's why he has five or six ultimate editions and in, in counting he's gonna he's gonna run it up man he's he has more ultimates than a lot of guys have regular figures including basics so that's just insane so for the macho king's accessories we get things that we've seen with macho king before in the crown and scepter what would it be without the crown and scepter it's the same mold we've seen the per the purple jewel in there it's a nice mold and you know it gets the job done and you do have the scepter i really like this like translucent plastic or whatever it is they use for this scepter looks really clean fits on there nice fits in the hand nice so you do get your your notorious crown and scepter that had you know what's a what's a king without his crown and scepter you gotta have that in there outside of that he also comes with sunglasses that have like these black beams and like the silver dots on there and we've seen this mold before multiple times with macho man same damn head skull we've seen so many times before which we'll get into but these actually have holes that they can pour into so they do fit better than hulk hogan's for the love of god so that'll stay on there and you don't have to worry about it falling off so that that you know that that works for me but jesus in heaven i'm i'm so i'm just ready to see new heads you know what i'm saying i want to see new heads for these machos and hulk hogan figures especially when we get them on a clip so often nonetheless outside of that you have your mic holding hands which do feature the hand tape with the correct yellow peg so you don't have to worry about the you know breaking the illusion and then you do have the finger pointing hands with the same hand tape on there and the yellow pegs to point at people and tell them what the hell to do all right man so for macho man or macho king same head sculpt we've seen on so many figures now like they these figures head sculpts they just run those things into the dirt man but here we are with another macho king head sculpt they use the old formula but they do have new double jointed arms on here not the ones that you see on the ultimate editions though these are actually elite style arms or arms that we've seen i think these are the same ones that they put on the hogan that we just looked at or they're very similar but you do have his painted on stuff here it gets a little bit messy right there on the elbow but you know you can connect it right there it is on both sides i feel like this guy's formula is short because these legs i think these are macho man legs but they just feel short to me but you do have the yellow and then you have all the rainbow colors just kind of color block going on all the way down i do like the stripes going down the back of the butt cheek right there and then the boots look really good with the white silver and yellow that's actually really clean right there so i am i am appreciative of that but the figure just feels so short man i, I don't know like he just kind of looks kind of not like stumpy but he just looks short which let's get into some figure comparisons real quick now i do not think that i own any macho king figures i used to have every macho man but i did sell them a few years back and now i'm hurting because i'm actually without a lot of macho men in my collection this isn't all of them but i am missing quite a few macho men like literally seven or eight elite macho men and we're getting the mega powers two pack coming soon but you guys can notice that like this one's slightly taller than the rest i think maybe not this one because the torso is different but i don't know i don't know what the deal is but something there's some sort of part or something that is making this one a little bit taller it's not the biggest deal though i think macho man was six two but you know hulk hogan's figure does tower over this if you get in here with the ultimate edition and you put i mean six seven to six two i don't know it's just so much bigger it's kind of ridiculous we'll see in that mega powers two pack uh, maybe it's accurate it just i, I don't know maybe it's just throwing me off in figure form I'm, I'm not sure so for dusty's accessories you do get some cloth goods here i mean like somebody's got to have some cloth goods in this wave but it's a nice oversized shirt fits the figure well it is in a yellow color with the iconic black polka dots it is velcro on the back and the pattern actually goes over the strap there so that's pretty cool it's not like continuous but at least it does feature some stuff on the back there i feel like jack 
Jax would have just completely not even looked at a back logo ever. So this looks good. I like the color. Again, it fits the shirt well. You'll never hear me complain about cloth goods unless they stain. You also get mic holding hands, of course, because you have to have those. You get your interchangeable fists. And like Macho King, you do get your pointer fingers to tell people what the hell to do. Tell them to get the hell out. Get the hell out. So finishing up our wave outside of the build -A figure, we do have Dusty right here. And this is a brand new head sculpt. Eyes are big and wide. I can see this like misprinting on some people. So you may want to be careful. If you find this wave at retail, definitely investigate the head sculpt in the eyes so you don't get a misprint. But it is a new head sculpt on there. I like it. You know, I can see a little bit of likeness in there, but it is a, you know, it's a bit different. You do get your big torso here that they always use for Dusty. Arms are actually buttery smooth for whatever reason, man. He actually feels really good. I guess this is our first Dusty that is on double jointed arms, but he's got his polka dot elbow pad on here. Yellow wrist tape that looks really, really nice. Waist is kind of loose and the ab crunch is kind of loose, but it really doesn't matter that much because, I mean, you're not getting a massive amount of articulation right there anyway, so it's not the biggest deal. You do have the black trunks with the yellow polka dots. Gotta have that in there. I don't think we've seen a polka dot Dusty since the WCW ring or basic ring target exclusive elite that we saw way back when. Never grabbed that, saw it so many times, and just never purchased it for whatever reason. Got the big black knee pads with the yellow polka dots, white knee tape underneath, and then you do have the beautiful white and yellow cowboy boots that are just so nice, man. I love these, and they feel really good. They actually articulate quite well as well. But Dusty figures, they don't articulate the best, but this one feels really good as far as the arms and stuff. Like, it's buttery smooth. It's not super loose either. It actually is quality. I, li I like it a lot. And the legs are not near as stiff as they usually are. He actually, I, I don't know what that is. I guess it just depends on your Dusty, but boot rotation and everything like that. He can kick forward decent. I'm telling you, usually these Dusty figures, man, they're pretty gar garbage at uh, articulation. But for your Dusty figure comparisons, we do have our last Dusty Elite. Now, I can't remember which one this was, but I did kind of get like a loose waist one. I can't remember what wave it was. Maybe like Elite. I don't even remember, man. I think it was a, a Series 83, I think. And then we also had the Elite 63 way back in the day, which was the first wave that featured interchangeable hands. So that's kind of cool. But you guys can see the differences here. Very similar, yet so different. And, you know, it won't be the last Dusty. I, I guarantee it. But it is cool to have a new Dusty Elite because we haven't seen one in quite a bit. So that's pretty cool. I mean, quite a bit. It's been about 10, 12 series or so. But, you know, we, we get the job done. All right, man. It's finally time to build our Mean Gene figure. Now, in front of each box is what each superstar comes with. The Rock comes with the legs. The Hogan comes with the arms and Mike and one pair of interchangeable Ricochet Kawhi Leonard style hands. The Macho King comes with his head sculpt and the Dusty Rhodes does come with his torso. Now, I'm noticing with this torso, it looks to be a new sculpt or at least the jacket looks to be new. I'm not entirely sure about that, but these arms are definitely new. These are the double jointed arms that we're going to see on the Doc Hendricks build a figure with the Royal Rumble wave and I like these a lot better. You get They're slightly slimmer. They have a good sculpt to them. They're double jointed. It's very nice, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and build this guy starting out with the torso connecting to the pants. Why will this not plug in? I think I finally got it. And then taking our arm here, shoving that in there. Feels pretty tight. That's nice to see. I think that goes in there. Very cool. And then last but not least, we can pop the head sculpt of Mean Gene onto the torso. And that is nice. Look at that right there, man. What a great head sculpt. I don't know, man. This Mean Gene looking good. I think this is a new torso. Uh, it's definitely new arms, but the legs are the same, it seems. But head sculpt's very nice. I feel like the bow tie may be a bit oversized, maybe. I don't know, but the bow tie's looking very clean. You guys know I love a good bow tie. I always wear bow ties. You'll never catch me in the long ties, man. I'm always wearing bow ties every time. Doesn't matter. For your Mean Gene comparison, here's the Flashback Walmart exclusive Mean Gene with the red colorway and the sweater underneath. Really like these head sculpts, though. I think both of them are solid in their own way, but this one's nice. I actually met Mean Gene one time. We talked about John Cena and golfing with him. That's what we talked about. But I also forgot that he does come with a mic, so you can plug this into the hand here if you guys wanted to do that. But this is very nice, man. You get the pinless joints. I, if I find this set at retail, I'm probably going to buy another suited body right here. I'm, I'm going to try to get, you know, multiple so I can build the Mean Gene and then put different guys in suits. Nonetheless, let's get Mean Gene out of here. Let's bring in the rest of the wave and rank this set from worst to best. Actually, I'm getting this out of here and we're going to rank the set. All right, man, so coming in at the bottom of the ranking, I'm going with the Macho King, man. No offense to Macho King or the Macho Man here. It's just the one that I'd least like, like to have in the collection. You know, lots of things come into the ranking when we rank. Them. I know we're behind on like two or three My Damn Thoughts episodes, but if you guys didn't know, criteria for the ranking comes into excitement for the figure, posability, likeness, how it feels on the hand, so many different things, but Macho King's coming at the bottom, man. Next up on the list, honestly pains me to do this, but I'm going with the Hulk Hogan, man. Sick of the head sculpt, sick of the same things that we continue to see, and I know it's not 
not all i know it's a repaint wave i get that it's just I, I i'm just you know what i mean i am just kind of over it at this point i'm not the biggest hogan fan and i love this boot design one of my favorite boot designs of all time but there's just so many other things that that piss me off and i'd rather have other figures in the set because i can make this figure you know what i mean i can make a better version using other figures coming in at number three we went with dusty i think that's appropriate now usually figures like this i don't like as much because they're kind of hard to pose around and like feel in the hand and stuff like that it feels like it's gonna break but this one actually feels a lot better than usual coming in at number two i went with the mean gene think it's amazing love the suited body love the double jointed arms think it feels fantastic in the hand and then number one i went with the rock this head sculpt this formula everything about this figure is pretty much on the money and it's plain jane but it gets the job done and does what it's supposed to do i'm not taking on football points for that nonetheless man that is gonna wrap up our full wrestlemania mean gene build a figure wave set review had a ton of fun with the review like all these figures in their own ways but some of them i want to throw them off a cliff but before we get out of here we do have to get into the random shout out as always and this shout out's going to go to viva la rasa rest in peace eddie guerrero mattel needs to make an ultimate edition kevin owens with like like with interchangeable cloth shirts enough with all the legends in the main ultimate line that's what legends elites and target ultimates are for give us current day talent and that got 17 likes there i think the biggest thing that we're missing like I, of course i love kevin owens one of my favorite on the planet just think he's so good but guys we gotta have seth rollins right like jesus christ how do we not have a seth rollins ultimate 17 waves in and we've seen seven hulk hogan's we've seen three or four warriors we've seen three or four macho men we've seen two to three rocks two bret hearts two jeff hardy's we've seen roman we've seen batista for christ's sakes and i love batista i thought that was one of my, that's one of my favorite ultimates they've ever done but G dude we have to have seth rollins we have to have seth rollins give us the thanos gear or the wrestlemania 34 gear or redo the elite 45 or do something man but yeah that gets the random shout out i would love to see more current day talent man or do an ultimate edition three pack then now forever and do a then a now which would be rollins and then a forever which could be warrior again or something you could do a repaint so you can get some reissue in there i don't know just thinking outside the box you do then eddie guerrero now seth rollins forever whoever the hell you want you know what i mean i don't know just thinking outside the box i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching video went long enough love you guys so much have a blessed day and i'll see you guys next time you crossed the line